it's supposed to not rain tomorrow at least Yay. for a little while <laughs> at least for a little while so i'll probably get out here and plant some of our coal crops um really you know this is a really great time to get outside you guys don't stay cooped up in the house get outside get fresh air get sunshine and if all you have is pots and some dirt try your hand at some gardening if you haven't done it already Welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangi and we are out in the Victory Garden waking it up getting ready for spring planting. Very happy to be out here if you cannot tell. I've already got dirt under my fingernails and I I'm just feeling wonderful. So um, yeah, we just want to give you a quick tour, show you what we're starting with, show you what's still growing um, in the garden. And yeah, we're going to uh, just try to clean some of this up and get it ready to plant some cold crops hopefully tomorrow. In a few of these raised beds, all I need to do is pull up some weeds and some grass. And then these boards that we have that we've used to kind of keep the leaves in the bed, these break down really easy over time. And we thought these are going to be perfect as a base for our raised beds that we're going to be building later on. Over in this bed, I'm going to be pulling up the old squash vines. And there's just a few weeds there. Pulled off a leaf the other day and munched on it. I was expecting it to be gross and bitter, but it was very nice. But, I mean, leafy greens like that, uh, they do good if they have a good frost on them anyway. It makes it supposedly makes them milder and sweeter. And I have to believe it after eating these after they've been frosted over. But yeah, I mean, we put these in the ground. I think we put these in the ground in October or early November. And then just in the last couple of weeks, they've gotten some size on them. So this fall, when Jack and Parker put the leaves on the beds, they put these boards down to keep the leaves from flying around. And the beauty of it is it actually helped the leaves to break down. So it's gonna make a really nice mulch slash compost for us. That turned out really well. Yep, look out. Kind We're of an unexpected surprise. <laughs> That's good. Just compost. Look at that big old fat earthworm. Did I kill it? I uh, can't see it. There it is. Yeah, this worked really well putting the leaves and covering them up. Uh, the leaves didn't break down too much, but. No. That's okay. We'll use it as mulch. But yeah, we're probably going to put a little bit more compost on top of this anyway. Oh, yeah. Break it all down. Yep. All right. I've got a few more things to pull up and then we're ready to plant. Awesome. So I'm just out here in the garden. Um, I've been pulling weeds and accidentally pulled up an onion. <laughs> so, but anyway, feels good to be outside. Feels good to get uh, dirt under my fingernails and with everything going on, it's got Jackie and I trying to figure out the best way we can uh, increase our food production here on the homestead because uh, we want to rely less and less on trucks and stores. So yeah, we're going to be getting some stuff in the ground pretty soon. Okay, so these are the Egyptian walking onions that I um, planted, I guess last summer or probably late in the fall. I can't remember when I planted it. But uh, yeah, that's what I accidentally pulled up. So Egyptian walking onions are an heirloom onion. Um, they have bulbs on the bottom, but they will also have small bulbs on the top. So you can either let it seed itself naturally, you can harvest the top and then plant them yourself or eat them. Um, you can also eat the greens, like this would be fantastic on some like potato soup or something. 
or with some eggs and it smells really good but I'm told that uh, Egyptian walking onions are very very pungent onions so they're definitely not a sweet onion and this bed behind me I obviously haven't got to it yet but this is some um, spinach that we planted in the fall but I actually tasted some of this kale and it's really good I was afraid it would be bitter but really it's actually, it's, yeah. it did survive yeah it's really really tasty I think this is the giant noble spinach so I just need to go through there and clean that up maybe even cut it back and let it grow some more you gonna help in the garden Huh? No, Ruger, out. You got to get out. out of there. You can't help that way. <laughs> out. Up, 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 up. Okay. Okay. And over here, huh? Um, over here is our uh, garlic that I planted late last fall. And it looks like most of it has come up. So um, it's got a way to go before it's... Oh, I've got another one. That one's come up. So hopefully some more will pop up. Cause I know I planted a bunch through here. So hopefully more will pop up. Um, but it, it's a, it'll be a good while before it'll be ready. And, and then over in this front bed, my lone strawberry plant is still alive and kicking. So uh, hopefully, hopefully in several months, we'll be harvesting strawberries. Garden started. Getting everything woke up. Yeah. And, uh, we're pleased with what we see, uh, how everything survived the winter, and the next step is getting some seeds started and putting stuff in the earth. Yes, getting stuff yeah. in the dirt. Yeah. So if you are not already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, we're Like we said, we are going to greatly expand our food production here. Um, planning on getting some chicken soon and just growing more veggies. So be safe. Hope everybody is out there doing well. And uh, maybe if you have never grown food before in your life, maybe this has got you thinking, uh, what can I do hey. and how can I get started? Georgia, this? no. Hang on. Georgia, no. <laughs> no. They're eating the garden. <laughs> They're eating. They're what eating our did? raised bed. She ate the pallet. Why did she do that? She did it because... She's got a wood deficiency. <laughs> she needs fiber in her diet. Eh. <laughs> Ruger is the instigator. Okay. All right, guys. Until next time, be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. What makes your garden grow? Water and sunshine. What makes your spirit grow? Knowing that should be mine.